Wasn't really gonna do a video on this one, but eh, it might be fun for me to see in a, in a while if I finish it. So this is a 2003 CRF450R. Uh, I've taken the engine out, all the gas engine components, and I'm gonna put an electric engine in here. It's a QS138V3 motor, and so far these are just some half-ass motor mounts that I still need to change around, and like I need to move this motor back a little bit. And someone pointed out that if you take out the swing arm bolts, level out the swing arm, it makes it nice and easy to make sure the chain goes around evenly and properly. But got everything rebuilt on the bike as far as the chassis components, the rear wheels out in the garage. I, just, I, I had it on for a little while, but I don't have enough bike stands for the amount of bikes that I have. And... If I put it on, I don't have another stand that I can bring in here and use, so it's easier just to leave it on the milk crate for now. Plus, when I actually test this motor, I don't want any wheel to spin. I'm going to take that sprocket off, so I just have a shaft spinning. I, I want to keep it really simple. But this is my first time building an e-bike, so I'm learning all this stuff. Like, here's my controller. It's a Votol EM200. It's definitely overbuilt for what I need. And I bought the wiring harness that came with it. There wasn't a whole lot of documentation with the wiring harness, so uh, there's some educated guesses on some of the plugs in here. Most of them match up, some do, some don't. But I still need to get a relay and a switch to actually control this harness better. But other than that, the other big part is my battery. And this battery, I ordered it like two and a half months ago. I got a really cheap price on it. It's only about three hundred dollars. It's a seventy-two amp hour or seventy-two volt, fifty amp hour battery. Uh, didn't come with leads here, so I put the XT ninety on there. And when I got it, it had a DC adapter here, and I went to go charge the DC adapter, and my charger was just staying green the whole time. Had nothing. Um, Eventually found out the DC adapter was bad on there. I had to cut it off and I spliced the XLR on there, which, you know, worked out because my charger had an XLR connector. So it makes that part easy. But getting close to where I'm actually going to hopefully turn this motor on once I get my few additional parts. Uh, so that way I can test the motor. And while I'm waiting on those, I'm going to try to finish up my engine mounts, which I need to rebuild on here. Like I said, I'm gonna do a, a mount going from this side of the back down to the swing arm and then some spacers across the swing arm to fill that in so it holds the seals in good. And this mount will go from right here where this mounting bolt is on the motor, go up and forward like that, and then do the same thing on the other side. So mount on each side, then one in the back should be more than enough because this isn't an uber crazy powerful build. I took a 450 engine out of here and I'm going to put a little electric motor in that will not make it go fast. Like with this battery, it's only a 50 to 100 amp hours or 50 to 100 amps that it will actually output. So we're talking a three to seven kilowatt bike here. Nothing crazy at all. Just kind of doing that to keep the price down because like I said, I got that battery cheap. Um, and if everything works out with this, I have overbuilt things. Like I said, this controller is quite overbuilt. I think it can handle like 250 amps. There are 200 amps through the controller, I forget which. So it's like a lot more than what my battery can actually do. So if I get everything together, if I can actually make this thing work and ride and it seems viable, then I can spend another thousand dollars and get a fancy battery pack that probably fits in the chassis a little better here, like fills up this space more. That one's, as you can see, it's it's not very wide, but then it's wide and, and really tall. It's not really the best size to be going in here. And I should have gotten the 40 amp hour battery, but it was, they literally had the prices uh, marked wrong. So the 50 amp hour, 40 amp hour, 30 and 20 were all the exact same price. And I didn't think I was gonna get the battery anyway. So I just went with the biggest one I could get. Um, so yeah, I'll try to post some videos of this every now and then as I'm building it out or as I'm building out certain things. Next one's hopefully going to be 
seeing this motor spin, which like I said, relay, switch, hook up battery, and hopefully we can get that going. I do still need to figure out, I, I made this to connect my battery to the controller here, but realized someone mentioned that I should have a pre-charge circuit between my controller and the battery, controller, battery. Um, that way there's no spark and no damage to the capacitors in the controller. So definitely want to try to keep things as safe as possible, but it's all a learning thing and having fun doing it. I kind of got uh, goaded into this after riding a zero. Those are fun, fun bikes. Anyway, happy new year. Take care all.